Hey guys, just doing a quick review of this uh, V-Line pistol safe. Uh, first thing I just wanted to note on the box, you know, they, they put stickers on here, unfortunately, that uh, that tell you what's in there. So California approved firearm safety device. And then over here, you know, V-Line, this and that. So you know, that's not great. You, you want to be discreet with your packaging when you're shipping out a safe. This is exactly how it got shipped to my house. So that's not good. All right, let's move on. Okay, it's packaged really well. All right, so we got instructions here. We have our safe. That's where you connect your, um, if you wanna you know, use one of those steel cables to attach it to something, put it through that hole. Okay, so it comes with a default code, so it's locked. So we'll do the code. It's unlocked. So it doesn't spring open. And in fact, it's actually difficult, quite difficult to get open, which is not great. But, uh, okay. All right, so they have a, a little thing here. It's this little foam square. It's supposed to prevent corrosion to whatever's inside the safe. Um, and there's a picture of a Beretta uh, 92. FS, um, also known as the uh, M9, it's the military model. Um, you got a V-line pamphlet here, and that's it. This thing has some pretty thin uh, foam, and uh, yeah, that's it. I mean, so you'd put your there's a little holes for the steel cable. Okay, so I just relocked it. Open it again. There we go. All right, so basically, once you open it, so this is to 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 uh, reset the lock. You turn it counterclockwise, and you do your combination. It's the default combination. You turn it clockwise, and then pull up on that handle. You give it a little shake, and it opens. So yeah, I mean, look, it's not great, but. Um, is what it is so you reset the combo to whatever you want and um, that's about it yeah so I just wanted to show something else this is a four inch shield plus um, you can see the the size of the box so it's, it's, it's a pretty small box also it's kind of you know this is metal and if you have a pistol that you care about and don't want to get all scratched up I mean if you close this thing you know, it clears the, the pistol, but as soon as you, if, you, if you're going to move this around, do you hear it in, inside there? You know, um, it's not being held tightly, so you're, you know, I, I don't know. If you're going to keep it stationary and be careful, or maybe throw something over here, or maybe pad this a bit. So you don't scratch up your gun. Um, I don't know. When I put it in there in the holster, it stayed a lot better. Uh, and I guess it's protected by that. But that's like a whole other step then uh, to get out of the holster. So, you know, just, just keep that in mind. You make your own decisions. Uh, first impression, not too impressed by this thing for like the 170 or so that I spent on it. So, anyway. Uh, just real quick, if you do put it in the holster, it doesn't move at all. So I just wanted to show that too. See, now it doesn't move around. I guess the holster makes it thick enough for the foam to actually do its job. So, anyway. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, please like, share, subscribe. And uh, leave a comment. All right. Take care.